So Suge Knight came on Cuomo and he was talking about the Diddy situation. And he said, what happened to Diddy, they brought on to him. You know, he called out names. Suge ain't got nothing to hold back. Suge told people a long time ago, you think I'm the bad guy for the Puffy situation, but he knew what was up. Um, You know, people might look at Suge and think he just says anything or what have you. There'd be truths in the things he says. You know, one thing about it is this. Um, it ain't hard to figure that someone's been pulling strings. It ain't hard to figure out Clive Davis behind Puffy, Jimmy Iovine, who worked with both Puffy and Suge, and then, of course, um, um, uh, Andre Harrell with Puffy. All this stuff is connected, you know. You don't get to do these things. You don't come from being a mailroom clerk handing out letters and what have you without something going on. Make it make sense, you know. It's like, come on now. A Suge can speak on it. And Suge was matter of fact with uh, Chris Cuomo on his show. You know, he said what he said. They, they tried to get Ray J on there. And Ray J somehow has become like a junior whopper Forrest Gump. Where he's at the all the places. Ray J still ain't answered about Whitney Houston. But anyway, and everything that goes on. It's, uh, it's, 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 it's one of those things that it's a train wreck. People are getting distracted. But there's a bigger picture that's being said, you know. And if somebody knows, it would be Suge Knight. Suge Knight would know. Suge Knight would have a way of uh, of saying that, hey, this is what's going on. This is how they're using this. This is how they're manipulating this. You know, the sort of situation, you know. So, um, you know, you take it how you want to take it, you know. But I would listen to what Suge's got to say about this thing because him and, him and Diddy were used... As as the as the window dressing models in the window for something that was more bigger, and more sinister, dare I say, they were put there as the springboard to sell said artists with someone behind them because it is deeper, it is deeper, you know, and you can tell that everything that's going on has a deeper connotation. You can sense it, you know, it's sort of, it's one of those situations where you can feel a certain energy there that uh, it don't jive right. It doesn't jive right at all. But I would tell you, definitely listen to what Suge is saying. You know, sometimes he might romanticize some things, some things he might stretch something. He not stretching anything when it comes to Puffy. He saw for his hand. He know they were used to window dress said artists and now they're both locked up in different ways i think you need to see that the people behind them no one's saying a word why is that this is bigger than you can imagine but anyway that was a good interview by sugar on the cuomo show i definitely uh i was like and he and you know he said what he said he said what he said he didn't give up Anything that would necessarily would say implement or indict him or anything that you could really, but he told facts. He said, look at how his life turned out. Talking about Puffy. He got caught and he got turned into what they, what they molded. Please like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another share the video if you like. Hit that membership. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Stay true. Stay real. One time I'm out. Peace.